What's up YouTube? Murphy Farms Training here. I'm wearing something I bought the other day. Uh, normally I like to try stuff out before I come on here and make a video, but I got this the other day and it's kind of an unboxing video, I guess you would say. This is called a Hosking holster. Matt Hosking makes holsters and uh, he, uh, I bought this because I've been wanting a chest rig uh, when I'm wearing heavy coats and hunting in the winter. I wanted a chest rig and I wanted something that I could carry a semi-automatic with night sights in. So this is my Ruger American pistol, okay? So I'm gonna show you this gun, it is unloaded. The beauty of a thick gun belt is you can use your sights so you don't have to, you know. But I will show you this gun is unloaded, okay? So it is unloaded, go ahead and take the magazine out. It is unloaded, uh, so we are clear and safe. This is Ruger American pistol in 45. it has night sights. It is a gun that I carry a lot. And because it has night sights, when I'm hunting in the evenings, I wanted something that I could get to very, very easily when I'm tracking a deer and wearing heavy, heavy, heavy hunting clothing in the winter. So I've been looking at chest holsters and I settled on this one from Hosking Holster. So I want to talk about this. First of all, it is molded Kydex. Uh, you specify your gun model. This gun fits in here like a glove. You can tell this was molded on this gun. It wasn't... Uh, it's close enough. It, it is a good, good tight fit. Um, it's got rivets down both sides here, three buckles. Uh, it's very sturdy. I don't have it super tight. And the reason I don't have it super tight is because I'm wearing it with just a thin t-shirt. And of course, in the wintertime, I'm going to be wearing it with some heavier clothing. And so it'll be snugger that way. So um, draws real cleanly, reholsters very cleanly, comes out, you know, just give it a quick tug. Not a huge amount of retention. Um, one of the options that they had for this particular holster is you could get it with three clips or you could get it with the single clip. The single clip is a $5 upgrade. Um, I went with that upgrade and after wearing this around uh, the last couple of days, I really recommend the single clip upgrade. So I'm going to show you how the single clip upgrade works. You've got three points of suspension here, right? Clip to the holster here, here, and here. And you've got these adjustment straps. Uh, this will adjust your ride height. I'm going to show you the back. In the back, you see you've got this as one piece. This is all sewed together here. It's one piece. And so your two adjustment clips around your body adjust how tight this fits to your chest. And then this adjustment clip here actually can ride this up or down. And so I've kind of got it adjusted about where I think I want it. I may move it up just another quarter to a half of an inch. I may move it up just a little bit more to kind of be on my sternum but it's pretty close to where I want it for hunting season. And when I put on my heavy clothes, I'll, I'll make that determination. But, um, but with the three point clip system, you have a clip across the shoulder, a clip here. You have to unclip a bunch of stuff with the single point clips. So I'm going to take the gun out. So give it a quick draw there and sit it down. You've got this clip here. You unclip it. It comes out from around your shoulder here. And then this piece that goes over your shoulder is just one solid piece. And so with the single piece clip, you literally throw that over, swing this around. And the only hard part is just making sure it doesn't have a twist in it. Um, so there we go. That's not twisted. And then boom, you're clipped on. So it's very, very, very easy on off. And then you holster your firearm and you're good. So um, it was a $5 upgrade. I feel like it was worth it. Uh, I think these are very similar to like the Kanai chest holsters and they were running 145, 150. This one ran 110. Um, and, and again, for someone who's outdoors, you know, fishing in waders, duck hunting, um, you know, you're like me, I'm deer hunting. Um, and a lot of times when I'm tracking a deer, I'll lay my rifle down so that I've got my hands free. And of course, when I do that, I'm out in the woods. I want something on me. And so this is my answer to that. I do have night sights. I have had to put a deer down with a pistol before. Um, I can't recommend enough. If you're a hunter, night sights on your pistol is really helpful. <laughs> um, it's actually what made me get into night sights was having to put a deer down with a pistol uh, after dark. But anyway, that had been shot and I was helping someone track it. So um, so it's it's pretty good holster. It's, it's a real good fit to the gun. It's, it's real tight. Um, I want to go through just a couple of disadvantages, a couple of things that I, I don't like about the holster. And overall, it's a good holster. I would recommend it. It seems pretty sturdy. Um, if, if something happens, I'll come back and let you guys know. But just, you know, playing with it out of the box, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. And it's, it's really what I was looking for. Um, 
my one disadvantage to this holster is this is all riveted and there's no there's no screw here a lot of these kydex holsters have a screw and a little rubber grommet that kind of lets you tension it here at the trigger guard to get a little more or a little less retention you have no option with that with a hosking holster what you get is what you get and so when i take this gun and i go to holster it and let's say i say oh that's that's too much retention i'd really like it to fit in there looser sucks to be you the flip side of that is if you say it's not enough retention i want that to be much tighter again it sucks to be you what you get is what you get they do sell a thumb strap uh, that you can buy I am not a fan of a thumb strap on a defensive gun. Um, now, I like thumb brakes where you get it on your draw stroke, but his thumb strap is one of those where you have to pull it this way and then come back down on the gun. And I don't like thumb straps like that, so I don't use them. If you don't mind, or if you're going over really rugged terrain where you might lose your gun, you might off you might add on the thumb strap as well. Um, it is removable, so it's got a button here. It's got a button in the back. You can take it off if you don't need it. So it is an option. Um, I went without it because, again, it's vertical, and I'm not going over super rough terrain. I'm not riding a four-wheeler with this. I'm walking. So I feel like I'm fine. I don't feel like I need that extra retention. So that was one complaint. Let me give you the other one, the only other complaint. And, and again, for some folks, maybe this isn't a complaint. So I'm going to take my holster here, and I'm going to holster my gun. Okay, most every holster I've ever carried, ever had, had what's called a sweat guard where it comes up and goes around the pistol here to keep this gun from touching your body. This holster cuts off, it's, it's identical, so if you look at this side here and you look at this side here, you're going to see that these two are cut the same, right? So they're cut the same, they're identical. The problem with that is the pistol's actually in contact with your body. So when I put this on my body, the pistol can actually come in contact with my body. That may not bother some folks. Some folks probably prefer that, but I like that sweat guard. I mean, it's on every holster I own. Um, and I know I'm not wearing this on my waist. I'm wearing it on my chest, so it's a different scenario. But um, for me, at least, um, I, I kind of wish it had that extra piece of Kydex right here that, that isolated the gun from my body. Um, so those are kind of my cons. Those are the things I don't like about it. Overall, I think it's a good value. No. Um, the only other issue with the chest holster is that you are going to be muzzling your left hand if you're reaching down here doing a lot. And that's just something that, you know, you have to have a comfort level with. If, if you're not comfortable, you're going to put your hand in front of this muzzle if you use your left arm at all. Uh, it's kind of a cool option. I like the holster a lot. Um, if you have questions about it, feel free to ask. I'll be glad to answer them. Um, just so that you know, this is something I bought with my own money. It's something I was interested in. It is not something that was sent to me. Um, I buy everything that you see on my channel with my own money. And so you're getting my honest opinion. And uh, guys, I appreciate your support. Like and subscribe. Uh, if you've got ideas for other videos, send them to me. I really do appreciate it. You guys make this worth doing. And uh Love growing the channel and really appreciate all the comments and all the support. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Thanks.